Hello, my name is Karx82 and welcome back to our Greg Techno Horizon Season 1 as I struggle to get down my thing. God, I need to get elevators and I just haven't got around to it. As usual. Um, I don't actually have a great source of ender pearls. Uh, so that is the reason I haven't got around to doing that. Uh, most of them is I've just got from killing Enderman. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have been smelting stuff up and I'm realizing I am starting to struggle a little bit for having my blast furnace and the vacuum freezer running almost constantly. Um, I've been smelting up a bunch of tungsten steel and uh yeah that has been running and uh, i think this is this is still running i mean it doesn't it's only outputting four or something yeah 431 so yeah that's you know 431 there we got 1920 here and then 512 from this turbo combustion generator um, but it is definitely time. I need to... I've been putting it off for a while. Um, but I think it is time to actually upgrade our power. And I'm going to do that with a whole bunch of titanium, I think. And uh, we're going to get, I think, the diesel engine. I think is... Oops. This one? No, that's the steam. Uh, where are you? If I were, hmm, I don't see it anywhere in here. I thought there was a thing for it. Um, the combustion engine, the diesel combustion, is it? Uh, yeah. There we go. So I think I do want to craft this up. I mean, this at this point, this is pretty easy. Um, the actual multi-block, though, takes an absolute ton of titanium i feel like it's like almost four stacks of titanium which before you get to mars is a nightmare um but i have got these from our miners just the small little uh single block miner uh this is from the small titanium uh ore that uh, we get from mars so as we can see there's 32 per chunk so uh, we get a decent amount from dropping that miner down, uh, which does, what, nine chunks, I think. And I've moved it three times now, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get this stuff smelted up. I have also been doing some recipes. I finally got everything ready for this. I have, I don't have every little thing automated for this, which is... Um, you know, we have the circuits, obviously, but uh, I have, I think this recipe is in there. Um, I don't have the forming press connected yet. Um, oh, wait, no, I did. That's right. Um, there was something I didn't, I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's right. It's the precision, precision laser engraver um, because... I don't have this hooked up. And the reason for that is because the precision laser engraver uses all the different colored uh, lenses. So uh, having just the one and I don't want to auto put stuff in there. So if I need like the essential processing things that needs like a diamond lens, but then I also might need the random ones. which needs a different thing. So if I automate that and I forget to switch the lens, I'm going to get the wrong <laughs> thing. So I haven't automated that yet, uh, but I have pretty much everything for that. So I can finally, uh, we can get rid of a couple of these. Um, I'm sure we will probably need them back again, uh, but I would rather have the use all the slots before I throw down another channel. So that I have been doing and uh, yeah, and working on the tungsten coils, which we're going to need. We're up to 61, but I realized as I was smelting that, 
Um, these do take 200 seconds, so that is really taxing my stuff. So, I, long story short, I think we are going to get the combustion engine so we can really kind of ramp up our thing. As we can see, it produces 2,048, which we can boost it if we feed it some oxygen. Um, now, that is going to tear through our fuel, fortunately. Um, we have a relatively... Where am I? I can't remember. Over here. Uh, we have a relatively decent buffer, but, I mean, that's going to go pretty quick. So... Um, I need to start also thinking about getting the satane boosted diesel as well so that is another thing we have we got few stacks of this stuff but i've only been using it for the rockets and uh i don't want to burn it because uh i don't have a ton um but once we automate this i mean as you can see it's one bucket 20 liters so like this stuff goes really far uh it is quite involved but now we have nitric acid automated um and i think this is like acetone which we get from yeah we'll probably do it that way i think uh wood vinegar that is such a bad ratio but there are other ways to go help doing this Yeah, pretty sure I'm not going to do it that way. That stuff's pretty hard to get. But, uh, all right. So, let me get crafting up here. and Let me get smelting, I think. And I can take that off. And that, that. I haven't done the mixer yet, but we do need it. So, why is that there? I have no idea. <laughs> I must have just hit A when I was over it. All right. We'll be back. Okay. I am back just still crafting up everything for this uh i did uh miss <laughs> calculate how much titanium we need it's not four stacks it's more like eight stacks of titanium uh thankfully we had a bunch of rutile in the a system that i have been processing and uh i am just crafting up the last thing here and that is the dynamo now i have been putting this off <laughs> because these energy hatches are such a pain but uh it's not it's not too bad though but i do definitely need one for the combustion engine since we need to produce uh ev worth of power um thankfully we have upgraded enough that uh we can um i just realized i need two of those um we should be able to get everything from this. Uh, I think the main thing was the cutting machine was the issue. Cut these. Um, but we have that upgraded now. And that is blue sapphire, I think. Um, we should be good. Uh, so that is that. So I think I should probably... Why not have a... I don't have a so I have green sapphire. But I had a I could have sworn I had a blue one. Oh well. Oh well I'll have to get that. Uh I'm sure we have no, because I probably turned it all to I think I was turning it into something, wasn't I? Um I'm sure there's there's probably sapphire around there somewhere. Yeah, I saw. Uh that's this isn't for ah that's right yeah we don't need that all right so i will get this crafted up i need i need nine of these to get a block so we can cut it down but uh yeah so that is that i think we have everything else though so i think i'm gonna go ahead and no it's the one behind here i keep doing that i keep thinking this group is this group but it's not all right uh, I should probably turn this off. Also, I need to break all this down. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. I haven't had this running, but I no longer have this connected to hydrogen. All right, so when I turn this on, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to hook these two up. 
to our hydrant, which isn't an issue, but I didn't even think about that because this hasn't been running. Uh, this, so I should probably... Um, I could even... That'll empty that out. And um, I guess, how do we want to... I'm a little worried that having this clo so close to over here is maybe a bad idea. Where are the chunks? I usually never... I'm so bad about looking at chunks when I build stuff. Wow, I've managed to build all these in one chunk. Okay, not the tanks, but <laughs> all these multi-blocks, I managed to actually not build across chunk boundary. That's cool. Um, all right, so this will be this one. That's still like... Mm, well, a chunk and a half. or Because this is going to produce a lot of pollution. I mean, I'm just thinking, I'm like, should I build this out into a farther away from the base? Yes, probably, but um, I don't know where I'm going to have, I haven't even thought about my main, like, where am I going to put my main power? I haven't even really thought about that, actually. Is that something I want in my main base? Yes, it is. Um, we don't. I mean, you don't necessarily need this engine right next to this. I don't know. Why don't we... We'll do it, and then we'll see. If it becomes an issue... Um, I haven't turned pollution off. I know a lot of people like to turn pollution off. I haven't done that. But... I don't know. We'll see. Um, I can't remember if... The combustion engine will... Uh, turn off. I don't think it turns off. If uh, right, so, that's there. That's there. Um, I don't think the combustion engine will turn off if it is full. So I may need to do something with um, redstone which is fine it's like right here so i figured let's put this right next to it so we can just extend that also this uh these intake casings are that's totally different texture used to be like looked like events before now it looks like fans i don't know if that's going to change once we build this but uh all right so those eight things go in front that goes in the center um, also, if this does not form, make sure you have the nothing blocking. They have to be air blocks in front of those fans. It does all say this. Oh, yeah, uh, I did find the thing. It's under the how to generate power tab. I knew there was one somewhere. Um, so this is the combustion engines right here. So this is the multi-box. So one combustion engine, two gearboxes, engine intake path. I need to craft up the last of the stable titanium. I wasn't sure how many we needed. Um, I couldn't remember, but uh, all right. So that goes there. Two gearboxes on the inside. This muffler hatch goes on the back, facing up. It needs to be a thing here, which it is where I've placed it. I'm still looking at this like, is this how I want to do this? Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, also, I have gone ahead and gone with the um, the EV one is the best one I can do at this point um, to reduce the pollution as much as possible. Um, it does get CO2 out of it, but uh, I think it gets CO2, doesn't it? Or is that only, you have to put like an output hatch or something on the thing. I don't know if I can actually get that from that. Uh, don't you put an output hatch on the the multi to get the the CO2 from it? All right, and then we have this. I'm gonna do. I'm pretty sure you can do this on any of them. What in the casings next to the gearbox? Yeah, I'll do that. 
And then input hatches. So fuel. Maybe I should do it on that side. Gotta think about how I'm gonna reach this. Uh, I'm gonna get the fuel, which is right there. I really just need this to get. I don't need to make this pretty yet, but uh, all right. So I think that's all the pieces. And then we're gonna have the dynamo on the back, which I still need to craft up. And then the rest of the casings, which I need, I think 19, it said. So five, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, 19 stable titanium. I should have everything. I did check uh, that I had enough and thankfully I did. I didn't have to fly to Mars. I also have, yeah, we have everything, good. Um, I did, I just did the frames that we needed um, manually. Um, because I don't have an assembler with four, so I was like, eh, it doesn't matter yet. Automating that. All right, so I guess, uh, yeah, let me work on this dynamo hatch, which is a pain. Oh, no! I have a little bit of titanium or uh, rutile left. I just realized I forgot to... Oh, wait, I don't remember crafting up all those casings. Eh, oh well. Well, we got enough. Uh, I didn't know I had casings in there. Uh, all right, so aluminum spin, the power things, stream voltage coils, which is that magnetic right there. All right, we'll be back. Okay, really quick, I realized uh, why I was making EV machine casings. Uh, yep, I put that recipe, not even thinking, on this thing that had an eight on it so yeah they put the titanium plates in to make the stable machine casings uh but was turning them into ev machine casings so i am just smelting these all back into the ingots um i do need a little bit more titanium uh but uh yeah i thought that was, i was like i don't remember where those came from uh so i'd need what eight or six more titanium or something. It's not the end of the world. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. I think I need, what did I need for that? A one. Yeah, those, you got to be careful with the eight things because the plates will screw up the recipes. Uh, this one. Yeah. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, I should have the sapphire thing done as well. Yep, sapphire lens. Maybe I should just double check I did the right. Yeah, we should be good, right? Um, yeah, I see wafer is what we are going for. Cool beans. All right, uh, we should have the dynamo. Yep, there we go. Um, I was. Trying to, I was like thinking, I'm like, maybe I should have done a recipe for this. Um, but, I don't know, maybe. I don't have recipes for like any of this stuff, so I've just been doing the hatches manually. Um, just because this is like, I don't use springs in like anything else. So I'm like, I'm not gonna try to hook up the board chammer. Uh, and I'm not gonna make recipes for all this stuff, because... It's literally used in one thing uh, at this point, but uh, I don't know. Maybe if we, I, maybe if I start making, well, the spring I'm not going to. The hatches use a cable instead of a spring, but uh, I don't know. I'll think about that. Um, it just takes up slots in the patterns, although it's not as bad anymore because now I can craft up the capacity cards. Um, but anyway, enough me babbling. I do a whole heck of a lot of that. I'm really curious if that changes when this forms. All right. So there is the EV Dynamo hatch. Now I may, <laughs> I may put a sign on this telling me to 
replace that dynamo before I put oxygen in it. Because if you watch the first season, that is a very big explosion. If you, uh, if you put oxygen in there and produce IV with an EV dynamo hatch, you are going to lose. This will probably take out the whole base. All right, they do not change. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not a huge fan of that texture. <laughs> that is just my opinion. Sorry to whoever created that. There's nothing on your skills at creating textures. I just don't like that. It looks a bit funny. Um, what was I? I was getting something and I totally forgot because, you know, I'm talking. And I can't do talking and... I was going to see. Is there... I do have a sign. What I was going to do. Now, I'm going to do the fuel and lubricant. We also need lubricants in this. Um, but I'm going to throw a sign on this. Replace dynamo oxygen. <laughs> so when I go to put oxygen here, I'll be like, oh, I got to replace that. We're not going to lose our base. That is... That is some derp protection. Although blowing up the base is pretty funny. But, uh... Okay, so we're going to, I guess we'll just bring it down. Um, also, I don't remember. I know this is going to burn through this pretty quick, but I don't remember. I really don't remember how fast it goes through. There you go. So, yeah. Toolbox, that is pretty cool with the... Uh, the maintenance things. I should have done that way earlier, but I was just doing the tape. Uh, um, probably not going to be enough. Does it does? Uh, do we say on here? I don't remember. Oh, we do get a whole bunch of gasoline though from this quest, which is uh, now that I don't need any more titanium. Well, we're going to need it, but uh, yeah, we get high octane gasoline, so I'll probably burn all that in there and then switch it to the fuel um i'm just trying to think like what what size would we need uh, i'll i'll figure that out uh in between episodes i want to get this going uh we do need lubricant though now we have lots of how we're we gonna do that it's usually like oil and redstone i don't have don't have like, my distillation tower is not right. Uh, fish oil. Something like that would. Or seed oil. Usually I would do this. Like, redstone and oil. To get some lubricant. We don't... doesn't burn through a ton of it. But I don't have oil. Because we pump heavy oil. <laughs> so I would have to distill the oil. Hmm. All right. I did get some of those fish fish crops when I was trying to get stuff. I don't remember the name of it. The goldfish. Goldfish? Is that the name of the crop? Did I throw that crop out? I may have just thrown that out. No! I thought I... No, it's probably in the other base. I have a drawer, a cabinet of seeds. That's probably where it is. Um, yes, because goldfish, this uh, this crop, you can extract it for fish oil. And then if we wanted, we could turn that maybe into... Can we not do fish oil into lubricant? Oh, yeah. We just distill that directly into... Maybe I'll do that. Let's see. I mean... One of these is... How much did we get? I didn't see. 100. I mean, we don't get a whole lot of that. It's either that or we distill oil down. I don't know. Let me... Uh, I'm going to think about this. How I want to get this. And uh, I may just do a few stacks, like 16, uh, to get us going. 
All right. Uh, I had a little bit of a derpy moment. Um, totally didn't even think. I am producing creosote like crazy over here with my massive amount of coke ovens. So I have 2,000 buckets of creosote there. Um, and that turns directly into lubricant. So I think that is maybe what we will do. I would like to... Well, it doesn't burn. I know it doesn't burn through it fast. Um, also, I totally forgot I had hydrochloric acid in there from the diluted. Um, yeah, it doesn't burn through this fast at all. Um, so, but uh, all right, there we go. But that was relatively painless. Well, we can even chuck this in the multi-block and then see so we'll do input hatch yeah i think like right that'll be our our lubricant fuel and then oxygen on the other side when we decide to do that all right uh i should grab some pipes now we are kind of getting to the point it's still quite if i need 10 of these this is going to be pretty expensive i mean we're starting to get to the point where we can use high pressure fluid pipes but that is an ev pump per thing all right i already changed my mind nope <laughs> don't feel like doing that that is if you think about that that is a motor um and those are not the black steel and everything we need for that all right Maybe not. Uh, eventually, I'm going to have high pressure fluid vice, but uh, yeah, not the bone. Also, I need tungsten steel, so using tungsten steel for something else is going to work. Uh, I think <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Okay, I also just realized as I was trying to figure that out, um, I want to switch that to Cetane Boosted Diesel. So I'm not going to worry about piping that fuel in until we, until I set up the Cetane Boosted Diesel, which uh, will probably be next episode, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think that is what we'll do. Um, it's a bit annoying trying to get the, I think it's the acetic acid, which is... One of the ones that's more annoying. I can't remember, though. Um, but we'll get that into... Once we get that set up, that will make our life much better. Um, I do need... Let's see. I probably just... We only need the one... I only need small aluminum. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Um, uh, Ten should be enough. It, this holds... Uh, one amp. We're not going to be producing more than one amp, so I think that'll work. And plus, when we throw the gasoline in that the quest gave us, we'll see how fast it's burning through the lubricant and stuff. Let me grab a bit more while I am over here. I mean, this MV, this MV thing is producing, as you can see, it's producing a decent amount of lubricant, so this is definitely not... It doesn't tear through this at all. Um, all right, so <clears throat> let's do pull that out, that back in there. No reason to waste this fuel that we have crafted, but uh, all right, let's go ahead and break that down. Now I'm gonna leave that that green there so I remember. I think we'll leave this on the green network. Um, I, th I think I can do the redstone conduit on this with a machine controller. I th think. Um, I can't remember what I did with that one. Um, but uh, I, I do kind of want to see what it does if this is full. Um, I would probably like this maybe to be the main 
I don't know. Thorium, we have tons and tons of thorium, so. Yeah, maybe that. I'll keep the. Wait, that's not what I want to do. I think I'll keep the. Uh... Ooh, that's not big enough. Shoot. That, uh, we might get three amps through that cable. This, that two amp cable is not big enough. I'm gonna have to do a four amp, otherwise it may burn down. Uh, al aluminium, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, I guess we'll just do four X. Although I do have steel. Maybe it's just, I just do, yeah, we'll just do the steel cable, I guess. That holds four amps. <clears throat> I usually don't like mixing different types of cables, but I think it'll be fine. Also, is it kind of funny that I have a nuclear reactor, like, right in the middle of my base, no protection or anything? The answer is yes. All right, let's see you. Um, yeah, four amps. Uh, it should not go along that. Not going to go along that line. So I will just connect this, I guess, to this. Now, I did a backup not that long ago. So I am not going to do another one. Um... But, yeah, I really, <laughs> I get nervous placing different tier cables around one another. Uh, but that is why I don't ever place cables connected to the power until I get them all, all colored. So I know that they're not going to connect. All right, so there we go. One amp. One amp, and then the four amps in that one, and then that will go in there. So, in theory, <clears throat> if I turn this on, or put this stuff in there, the high octane gasoline, which we are probably not going to produce in this playthrough. I did not like it in my season one, um, but maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I think, uh, we should be good. Well, we're not, uh, not burning any cables down. We're not, uh, we are pumping out a whole bunch of <laughs> pollution. But there we go. We are producing a, another amp. <clears throat> So there we go. We are producing two amps of, what did I do? Why did that turn off? Oh, that's right. Cause the threshold is like 80% or something like that. So we're actually over 80%. Um, if that drops down though, which, uh, if I throw the thing on, we shall see. Uh, let me just throw a bunch of I forget I need 128 of that so we might as well just uh chuck that in there uh we'll get that running and as we can see that's gonna take a while to get the the coil blocks but now that I have this running that will uh I'll be good. Yeah, we can see how not fast <laughs> that is running. Our creosote supply over there will be plenty. Um, but that is that is draining a decent amount, uh, for sure. All right, but uh, there we go. There is the combustion engine, and uh, are we making pollution go crazy? Yeah, probably. We will, we'll come back next episode and we will 
we'll see how high the pollution has gone and uh maybe look into connecting this to uh our little redstone thing here because i'm pretty sure if it has nowhere to go it's still going to be burning the fuel but anyway that's going to be it for this episode so thanks for watching and have a good one